<clears throat> what's up y'all so drama alert the baby kicked out yellow bone <laughs> Quando crying rico nasty hit with a bottle lord it's just a lot going on okay um i didn't watch messy monday yesterday but we on it today okay y'all peep the christmas tree i'm feeling festive let's get it to it <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So listen, first of all, shout out to y'all. Happy Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Y'all make sure y'all spam up with the goddamn hell yeah with my emotes on Twitch right now, which is currently over my head. Y'all make sure y'all follow me slash subscribe at Royalties World CEO. That's where we are currently live streaming from right now i don't know why y'all not over here but it's cool it's cool bring your ass next time all right also if you don't like what i'm saying in this video if you don't like the fact that i'm skipping your favorite youtubers part in the video you know what you can do uh, that, uh, all right please run in it uh 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 skip to it uh uh cartwheel through it uh run through it just go hit the door okay because i really don't care this is my video i do what i want with it all right. Also, um, what the goddamn hell? Yeah. <laughs> now, messy Monday. Better be good today. Let's get it. Forty-seven minutes. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't sit for me. Yeah, see, the chair he got for the dog. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's get. Y'all, so hair grew back fast, didn't it? Going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Ciao. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. We finna get right on in this shit because the mess that we got today is messy, messy, messy. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on in these streets. The girls just want to act up. They said they want to end 2021 off with some shit. Okay. So I'm going to just say, hey, bitch, to all you bitches today. Hey, bitch. Thank y'all for being so supportive on Messy Monday. I appreciate y'all. I see you, and I know you love me, and I love y'all too, baby. So with that being said. Hey, bitch. All right. Let's go on and get into this shit. And that's the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Quando Rondo. Now, Quando, I'm gonna need you to get together. Cause just on October the 24th, sweetie, you was out here posting that you was all happy in love with this little teeny bopper hoe. <laughs> and now this little bitch got you upset. <laughs> you know what? Go lay, because you are really something. You was just out here. See, karma is a bitch. You was just out here talking all this shit to your baby mama, talking about some, oh, you wasn't doing right. That's why a youngin had to come in here and take over your place. Because now, baby, she got you out here talking about you want to come this. So Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. And come in here and take over your place. Because now, baby, she got you out here talking about you want to come this. I'm done with life when I get killed. I hope that shit hurt you the most. Lord so have mercy. What? What happened? You know the fuck what? Please. The dog! <laughs> you need to go! How you let this little girl get you in your feelings like that? So previously, he had showed us that he got the tattoo of the girl's name. I don't know. Look like they hit no. it in jail or something, but whatever the case may be, she probably broke 
first of all, y'all spam the door for the original creator, please. But first of all, yo, now I got that girl name tag. Because that shit look like some edge sketch. But anyway, what you gonna do with the tattoo? What are you gonna do? Did y'all, weren't they only together for like two weeks? <laughs> I mean, like for real. And he got the little child name on him? Oh my God. I understand that, yo. So after he showed Appreciate the sub, Katie. I know y'all don't like them ads. <clears throat> if y'all don't like them ads, go on sub with Prime for free. You know what I'm saying? There's an ad coming every eight minutes. All right. So go on sub now so you don't get them good ads. Now, can everybody please uh, spam sub the goddamn hell yeah for a nigga? It's an emote too. As a matter of fact, I'll go and handle it for you. Let me go and handle it for you. Let me handle it. Let me get it. Uh-uh, not that, but a bit. I said that. All right, we're going to go in. Yeah. It's a couple dogs in there. But make sure you sub the goddamn head. Yeah, I'm trying to dig. Okay, yeah. I think a couple of weeks later, he going to put, fuck that hoe. Y'all can have her. <laughs> if you don't want to, what make you think we want to? And child, we don't even want to because she, all she can do is go, to, can she even get in a rated R movie? <laughs> Nigga, we ain't trying to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Is this bad? She can't even pop a bottle. Be my last, just give me your heart, and he gonna say, Oh, hood. I need a bitch who's all for me, like, fuck it, get her a round trip. First of all, nigga, bitch is what you fucked up at. That's what you getting, bitches. You need a woman, okay. you need a, a lover, a girl. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, you whatever you ask. Who made that hell yeah emote? I like that emote right there. Hell yeah. Or is what you gonna get. So if you asking for a bitch, that's what you got. <laughs> okay. Nigga. This can't be the Quando Rondo from last year. Cause this nigga was out thugging. Now this nigga sipping and crying. Big drama queen. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm done with life. When I get killed, I hope this hurts you the most. If she didn't give a fuck now. <laughs> It's the laugh I'm on me. Sorry. But if she didn't have a fucking name. Shorty hell yeah. My niggas. She's not gonna give a fuck. I didn't even oh know I had that. God. It's him Nasty. not laughing for me. Gordo, your best bitch gonna write this shit in the diary because Sweetie, you out here crying and nobody gives a fuck. Do you not see how you did your baby mama? Man, this ain't gone to real before she had Italy. Mom, do in my line. Man, this bitch ain't gone to real before she had Italy. I ain't her in eight months. The fuck? I don't give a child support. None of that shit. Boy, I'm about to get a restraining order on this. Restraining. Man, shit, come on, dude. This is the same thing she did to me. I'm going to do it to her ass. You made her look like she was just the scum of the earth. <laughs> Talking about this little 18-year-old is the shit. That she told his mama to shut up. Going through shit. Oh, she told his mama to shut up, child. I like my dude. Shut up. Respect your baby mamas. I'm not saying that they might be the best. But this woman is the mother of your child, and you really dogged her. And now look what done happened to you. Mm. <laughs> How this little girl <laughs> got this grown nigga sliding down the wall crying. <laughs> this nigga it's crying. Really you crying. Then mm. <laughs> you just, then he kill somebody? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he gave zero fucks well, about Vaughn. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she, um, I don't know what to tell you, child. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, whew, thank you. I know that my baby mama is sitting there like, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Maybe he, ooh, What's the problem? What I'm I'm saying? Well, if it ain't about me, you let's get key next game. Next to the Shagani Ice Tea, we have Roy Lorraine. Now, this really ain't about her, it's about her girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> that's 
sorry. It's about her boyfriend. Now, see, uh, they had broke, I guess they broke up a while back. Because remember, she had posted something about some she's single, whatever case it be. I guess they got in an argument. Or maybe he wanted to wear her clothes and she didn't let him out. Or she wanted to wear his clothes. I don't know. He's stupid as hell. If he don't stop knowing damn well, he need shut up. And they're both confusing. Anyway, they had, you know, had a little misunderstanding and she said she was single, but now they're back together. So, child, he told the press that I was attracted to Coyle Ray because she looked like me. <laughs> and we don't clash. <laughs> Usually, homeboys look alike and they don't clash. <laughs> Hello? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. So, she looked like him. <laughs> I disagree with this. I, I ain't gonna lie with Zoe laughing too because Zoe is really like he has it in his mind that he thinks he's a woman, you know, which is okay because in our community a lot of things uh, are happening and, you know, it is what it is. But <laughs> he not judging her for who she is, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Nigga gay. <laughs> oh, so I guess he's attracted to stuff. You know, a lot of men do be attracting themselves. Like when I, you know, when men pl pleasuring themselves, they do be looking at their own pain, you know? And is that gay? <laughs> Cause you touching yourself, looking at yourself, and you you turn on by your penis. <laughs> so that means you like dick. <laughs> Y'all know Zoe don't even use his penis. Did y'all know that? He don't like his penis. That is crazy. Bruh. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't trade in my vagina for nothing and nobody. Okay? I love my vagina. But I ain't never thought about it like this. Like him looking at his penis as he turned on or as he gave because he jacking out. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay. Let's stay on track. <laughs> so she looked like him and they don't clash. So I guess they play Fortnite and Call of Duty together. And then, you know, she rap and that's why, you know, I guess that's why she be looking all tumboyish. <laughs> uh, it's, this new era is just all over the place. <laughs> so then she got in the comments. <laughs> Taking up for my baby is a great guy, man. <laughs> I guess you had to let us know he's, you know, a man or whatever. I don't know. He's fully Filipino and Child, he wrong for this. Jamaican. And and if you don't know, Canadians have amazing mannerisms. But try this nigga if you want to. It says we're not trying him. They just going off what he said. He said he was attracted to you because you reminded him of him. <laughs> He didn't say because you was cute, because you was beautiful, your femininity. <laughs> he clearly don't want the femininity. He wants somebody that remind him of him. That's what he said. He don't want the femininity. That ain't what he looking for. <laughs> he want him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. Bitch, he said... You reminded him of, yeah. So they just was kicking it, right, baby man? So she didn't stop there. I guess the, you know, the gay comments was really eating up under her skin. So she went to Twitter and she let her feelings out there like she always do. And she said, his beautiful brown skin and his long Asian hair might tickle y'all feathers, but try it, ho. <laughs> I guess we see who the man is in this relationship. <laughs> because. She said, that's my bitch. Like, bitch, you the man in this. Nah, he is doing too much on this one. It's just not funny to me. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't fake the laugh. Y'all know I can't fake shit. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know now, you know. I just I can't fake it. I can't, I'm not a good faker with things I don't like. He he just... Because I Zoe has talked so much about how he feels about... He cries when he speaks about how he feels about himself, honestly. And, you know... um. How he feels about himself and and uh, him feeling like he's a woman and not being accepted. And at one point he wanted to go trans and things like that. So the fact that he looks at Coyle Ray like, 
uh, of, I guess a figure of himself could be weird to you, but that's what he likes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I just, oh, oh I don't like it. <laughs> Koi! Prisha is Filipino and Jamaican. She had to let us know this again. Yes, he's a pretty boy and has manners, but don't get it twisted. What the fuck does Filipino and Asia have to do with anything? We don't give a fuck about that. What we were talking about, let's <laughs> see, said, he was attracted to you because you look like him. We don't give a damn if he's sweet and Canadian and Jamaican and Asian. We don't give a fuck about the fuck. When it don't affect you, they don't care. I gotta do anything. <laughs> Bitch, the nigga said he was attracted to <laughs> 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 These women be walking around. This <laughs> Next to the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Mark. Now, for those who don't know, Marcus is Pleasure P's son, and Pleasure P is out of the group Pretty Ricky. Now, what has been said was uh, his son is allegedly uh, the killer. Coy that nigga, I don't give a damn. I fuck with her. Of a 24 year old that happened out in Broward County in Florida. And I'm just like, child, it must be something that Florida water because what the hell, nigga, you're only 17. And then on top of that, you just had a baby, if I'm not mistaken. So they say he on the run, child. I don't know if they done caught him, but they say he on the run for killing that man and leaving him on the highway. Ooh, that is really something. And bless your, well, how, your daddy out here singing about sex and love and you murdering somebody. I wonder how he got caught. Like, how do they know it's him? Um, Especially if he was left on the highway. Like, it, I'm just not understanding how they knew it was him. And if he is guilty, how would they know, you know? Body, allegedly. Mm. Allegedly. But Pleasure P, he did come out and he said, why would a 17 year old be around a 24 year old? No disrespect to the family, but we gonna get to the bottom of this. He said his son is innocent. So, child, I don't know, cause you know Pleasure, he done had his run-ins with the law too. Child, what do you want? Pretty that's not pleasure. Wow, with the fighting at the places and just all that. So, I you know, these two child, his run child, I don't know, because you know, pleasure, he done had his run ins with the law, too. Child, he didn't mean to say pleasure. That would do you wow, with the <laughs> fighting at the places and just all that. So, you know, these kids. Koi is the most hated because she's different. That's why. That's why it wasn't funny to me, like him saying this shit, because he's different. He looks at himself as a female genuinely y'all he literally does not like his own penis and he literally you know wants to well i don't think he wants to be a trans anymore but he said at one point in his life he did so the fact that he was making a funny about koi is just mind-boggling to me i wish he didn't even cover the story you know she's hated because she's different she dressed like a boy has a feminine vibe though. Uh, uh, dressed like a dude has a fully feminine vibe. I don't care what nobody say. And she makes different music and she just acts totally different. <laughs> you know, she's a fucking vibe. I don't care what nobody say, okay? Koi Ray is a vibe and can't nobody tell me different. Okay? She got on them boy clothes while she doing the stomach roll though. You know what I'm saying? She's small, she ain't getting no surgeries, she ain't adding on no titties, she ain't adding on no ass. She is a full, natural, modern day, you know, uh, I mean, whoever you want to call. Like, you know what's crazy? Tiana Taylor can do what Tiana Taylor do with no issues. Ain't nobody speaking about Tiana. Because she don't play that shit, for one. <laughs> she, she don't play that shit. She demands respect. Uh, and Tiana Taylor's music is also different. She got a husband. She dressed like a man beside, but he ain't gonna say that about Tiana Taylor. You know, it's just annoying. Um, it's annoying. She looks like, uh, it, the, also I was gonna say the difference is Tiana Taylor has a body though, but Tiana Taylor works out. She works out that body. She built that body. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if Coy LeRae get in the gym, I don't know, should it be different, but I'm just saying, man. Like people just, girl, I'm hot. I gotta cut on that. You cold? Okay. 
So it's just stupid. Nowadays, oh, Aaliyah. Hell, uh, Missy Elliott. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, TLC, like wrong. They be around these old folks, but you gonna have to see what happens and what's the truth. It will come out. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keep. Okay. All right, y'all. That's all I got for the sugar honey ice tea. Sierra at one point, right? Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have the City Girls. Now there was a lot of talk about the City Girls after their performance because it looked like there was some type of tension between her and JT because apparently JT had went to this side and Miami went to this side on the stage. Whatever, just watch it. All the women, y'all, all of them. Now it was a little awkward, but JT came back and she addressed the situation after fans took to Twitter. I was confused that Carisha walked off. I knew the show was over. I was confused on how to end the show, be it that the show was a very short show. Okay, all these shows, like. <laughs> Let's get together, JT. Um, and we both walked the separate ends of the stage. Hers just happened to be farther away. She said she wasn't gonna address it because y'all be getting real weird <laughs> when she speak. She was just gonna let it blow over. And it was the y'all get weird for me. <laughs> I said, well, damn, the girls get weird. But anyway, um, so it is what it is and she said what she said. Somebody said, girl, don't be walking off stage at the motherfuckers paid to see you. First of all, you cussing at me. That's what you wrong at, bitch. First so of all, stop telling me what the hell I can do. Now, granted, they could have left on a better note, though. But ain't no telling what was going on. And he said, girl, the show was over. What the fuck you want me to do? Stand there and smile, bitch? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 like, what she supposed to do? <laughs> Stand it. Bitch, yes, it's all you supposed to lead the fucking state. It was two songs, nigga. And that's why it's hard to sympathize with you, because one minute you normal, next minute you bipolar. It just may be the time of the month. Sheesh. You are talking like you're my friend, bitch. I don't know you. And if somebody said that shit under your page, you would do the same thing. These comments be beyond me. I ain't gonna So lie. Miami responded with, I never asked you to sympathize with me, weirdo. And that, that is true. Like, bitch, I didn't ask for us to sit here and have this discussion. You came to me, bitch, when I ever asked for your sympathy. But yeah, so that was that. That was them. And they said what they said. Leave them girls alone. If it ain't about me. Let's keep key next. Okay. Next little duck at, we have Rico Nest. Now, I don't know why these people. All right, y'all. Hold on, chill. I got to pee. I was trying to hold it. <sighs> I've been drinking a lot of water. So with me drinking a lot of water, I got to be two seconds, two of them, just two. I wash my hands, asshole. Assholes.
people are targeting this woman. Rico is actually a really good performer and she's very talented. Child, y'all, you stop playing while she from the DMV. That bitch will beat your ass. And that's what she was about to do. Well, she was, she's on tour with Playboy Cardi and, you know, she has her set. Somebody ended up throwing a bottle at her and this is what happened. If ghetto was a person, what? <laughs> now, Did child. You just jump off the stage on your set. Now, granted, don't throw no bottle at me, though. But I'm just saying, girl. I don't I know. But this might have been that person who she tweeted at <laughs> when she said, y'all, stop trying me because I will jump off this stage and snatch y'all souls. Y'all remember she said that, right? Oh. So I guess that person said, well, bitch, let's see if you go snatch this soul. Well, baby, <laughs> she was about to motherfucking do it. <laughs> uh, Y'all been leaving alone. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, person. If security, y'all better do y'all job was a person. Security, you better do your job because I'm going to do it. If you don't do it, was a person. <laughs> Girl, what? I mean, it was only... Well, I ain't saying like it's just a little bit of people in there because that's a lot of fucking people. Trust me. You been around that many people that know you, that's a lot of people. But I'm just saying. It wasn't a crowd of 50,000 so she could really see who did it. Now, child... I don't know, but this might have been that person who she tweeted at <laughs> when she said, y'all stop trying me because I will jump off this stage and snatch y'all souls. Y'all remember she said that, right? So I guess that person said, well, bitch, let's see if you go snatch this soul. Well, baby, <laughs> she was about to motherfucking do it. Y'all yeah, okay. um, been leaving her alone. Rico's not one of them girls. She's not that girl to play with. And so then, uh, appreciate the resub, royalty. I so JT came out and showed her love and support for her, and then Rico came back and said, Well, it needed to be done. I love you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, this girl is really good. She be minding her business, doing her own thing, and y'all just be trying. Yeah, yeah, these celebrities humor her. Like, what the fuck is the issue? Anyway, it wasn't too much on that situation. I just want to talk about it because I thought it was really nasty. Like, y'all threw a bottle at this girl. <laughs> That's really something. Okay, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Hey! Next on the docket, we have the baby versus he. Not he made that shit the rest of the time. Now, child, this I already knew was gonna happen because every time somebody have a baby with somebody, shit hit the fan, and we knew this was gonna happen. Because it's postpartum, but let's We told this, this help of this. See, now I'm gonna have to respond to the comments. Long time ago, when she was out here talking about she was Yellowbone. We told Yellowbone that long time ago. When Mimi even told her, I'm not going nowhere. But she thought she could make this man fall in love with her and she was gonna end it all with him being for the streets. Girl, all the flags was there. The same way you was jogging me, me, and joking with her, karma came and ate your ass the fuck up. Now, Period. Now, this is something I agree with. I'm not saying the baby's right, because he's a narcissistic fucking asshole, and he's very disrespectful. I'm not saying he right either. And I don't know why the fuck y'all thought that I was saying that he was right. <clears throat> Here's my logic. As a grown ass woman, you do know if you decide to uproot your house, sell it, move to another state where nobody fucking knows you and you know nobody else, and you have your own coin, honey, and you depend on this nigga who wasn't there for you your entire pregnancy, okay? I don't know why you thought 
that he will be there for you after you had the baby. But if he wasn't there for you your entire pregnancy, and you decided to uproot your life and move in with him. Appreciate the thousand bits, Kia. Okay. If you decided to move in with him, shame on you, honey. You know, a lot of y'all got it misconstrued about what I said and thought that I was on the baby side. He my homeboy. That nigga not my homeboy. I went to school with him. I fuck with him. I respect the fact that he got out the city, but he not my homeboy. In some cases, you do do wrong. He was wrong as fuck. Okay, understand me when I say. But she wrong too. I hate that women like to only subject the nigga to being wrong. No, ma'am. She wrong too. You do not take your entire life that you worked hard on. Sell it. She sold her fucking house to move to Charlotte to a whole nother, to another state where she knows nobody and nobody knows her. And thought that a nigga that wasn't there for her her entire pregnancy, hear me when I say, was going to do you right? I don't have sympathy for that. All right? And I don't know if y'all be trying to make me have sympathy for it, but I don't. Not now, nigga. Or now, bitch. Going to have me in no situation like that. But I would be the only person that put myself there. I've been in situations, not like that, but I've been in situations and I put myself there. See, I know how to take accountability for my shit. And that's what y'all need to learn to do. She shouldn't have done that. Period. I don't support it. I don't sympathize with it. I don't feel bad for her on that note. I don't. Next. But y'all women allow him to do what he's doing. So let's get into this mess. Just three days ago, this girl posted up supporting his new project. <laughs> oh, I know she feels stupid. And then not even moments later, Mimi is an asshole. I love Mimi, but Mimi messy. Mimi gonna show support in the project too. Now I get it, yeah, the baby mama can, you know, show support, but I feel <laughs> Mimi told me. me. Mimi told Danny Lay last year that that nigga ain't going nowhere. You know who didn't believe her? You. Danny Lay, she told you. When you was trying to humiliate Mimi last year. Also, I don't feel bad for that either. Because, y'all, another woman that was scorned last year was Mimi. Okay? Danny Lay was la laughing. <laughs> Got your nigga. He want a yellow bone. Ba ba ba. Made a whole song and everything. Mimi told her last year she ain't worried about shit because that nigga not going nowhere. Okay, let's not forget mid year. The baby left Danny Lay last year and got the kissing Mimi and putting it on his story. Do y'all not remember that? I know y'all remember that because I remember that. And I know if y'all, if we remember that, Danny Lay remember that. You decided to have a baby with that. He got multiple baby mom. You decide to have a baby with that. I don't sympathize with that. No, I don't. Next. Mimi be doing that to get up under that girl's skin. Now all yeah. this was three days ago from her supporting, then Mimi supporting. And mind you, whenever Mimi posts, the baby be <laughs> right beside with her. Mimi. Because she not going nowhere. <laughs> like, Jesus. So then Danny go and she posts this up. Y'all had to follow everybody. I just got to focus on me. And every time he go back to Mimi, that's when Danny gets hurt. <laughs> Y'all remember when the baby said she got down fucking with how I, you know, raised my first child? Y'all remember when, y'all remember she said, uh, he said that the other day? Because she thought she could take him from Mimi, y'all. <laughs> Mimi is pregnant again. I don't understand why y'all surprised, because I'm not. 
You want to know why? Mimi already told me. <laughs> Mimi told me last year. Y'all, when Mimi said that, I believed her. She said, I don't give a damn what he got going on. I don't care what they got going on. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> and he ain't either. But have fun. She, Mimi was out here doing her thing, y'all. Mimi started to make some money, bitch. Mimi just started doing her <laughs> gracefully as the baby was with uh, Danny Lay. Mimi was chilling. She embarrassed herself one time and never did it again. She embarrassed herself one time and said never again, okay? Girl, after that, I... <laughs> Mimi do her. Girl. No. The door, I please. Can't. Somebody I can't. just leave out. It's okay. I'll take over. <laughs> Danny. Danny. <laughs> You've been doing this since last year, sweet. What the fuck did you expect? I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. And so then when people start calling her out on it and saying stuff, here she go, gets to lying like she always do. And she said, the internet is funny as fuck with the narrative. Oh. So Leah, somebody, Leah just said, yeah, so Mimi dumb too. Here's the thing. Mimi is dumb to you. But Mimi has decided to play her role, honey. As far as I'm concerned, she ain't the dumb one in this because she know what he doing. See, what Mimi did was she decided to make a decision, a player decision, all right? Mimi said, listen, I know this nigga. I know how he is. I love him, though. Uh, I'm going to deal with him because I love him, and I'm not going to complain. <laughs> like, I mean, let's just keep it all the way up in, bro. That could be stupid to you. Cool. But if she can sleep at night peacefully, not coming on the internet, embarrassing herself, still getting a bag while that nigga still taking care of her kids, excuse me, um, also while he taking care of her, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, shit like that. She ain't that dumb. <laughs> Mimi not on the internet embarrassing herself. It took one time. That was it. As far as I'm concerned, Mimi playing her fucking role. I call her stupid if you want to. I, she not stupid to me. They come up with she made a decision. <laughs> Danny Lay made a decision too. Danny Lay made a decision and got on the internet and got herself looking dumb as fuck. Okay? Got it. Well, sus. <laughs> I guess we need to keep coming up with him. You know Mimi got a nigga on the side. You already know. And he know to play his position too. Period. Believe me because every time we come up with it, it's true. Why do celebrities always lie? They be like, oh, I'm not pregnant. Boom, pregnant. Oh, we don't go together. Boom, they fucking. Oh, we don't hate each other. Boom, they fighting. That's still dumb. That's a waste of time. It could be a waste of time to you. <laughs> that could be a waste of time for you. That's clearly the lifestyle that you don't want to live. That is your choice. But what she's doing is her choice. It could be dumb to you because that's not what you want to do. Got it. But that's what she want to do. <laughs> Be simple and plain. It's just shut the fuck up and let people talk. Raven, you said, you said something with that one, honey. See, the goal is to never trick yourself out your position. That's what Danny Lay just did. But uh, money rule the world, and when you in your bag, you never trick yourself out your position. That makes a bag. Simple and plain. <laughs> Simple and plain. Y'all see me? I'm the type that I'm going to be the provider. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to be the provider. But when you are the provider, you would like things to go a certain way. It just happens like that. Now, would I ask TT for me to have another woman? And I, no, okay? But understand this. If that's something that she ain't going for, TT wouldn't be for me. If that's what I wanted, okay? Danny Lay is not for the baby because he wants to do him while he's doing her, okay? And Danny Lay was trying to be with it. 
Okay, she was trying, but it didn't work. Y'all, she played herself. She thought that she could do it, and she played herself. Period. Oh, but see, God was trying to tell us something because what was going on behind Thank the you, scenes Kim. was oh, messy. Girl. That's why he had the baby fall off stage, stage like that because he's trying to get him together. So that's why he failed because what he doing ain't right. So no, she tricked herself out of the lifestyle that she wanted to live, Cinderella. And uh, some people in my comments saying it's not all about money. She said that she wanted her child to live a big lifestyle. She didn't say, I want my child to live a great lifestyle with a great father that is just a great role model. He's not. <laughs> like, and you know, it's crazy that y'all thought I was on here, like, making a baby a role model and shit. Fuck him. That nigga, that, listen, that shit he did was foul, putting her out at 3 o'clock in the morning, period. And I'm not going to take that back. But the position that she's in as a grown-ass woman, should have that should have went better. That should have went better for her to hold her own. Okay. I can hold him accountable. He ain't shit. Fuck you. Slide him to the side. Okay, Danny Lay, honey, what's going on with you? I don't know why y'all always want the focus to be on the nigga. Y'all, they show you they don't care. They show you that they rule it all. It's either, it's either they way or no way. They already give you this. I can't work with that. That's why I don't fuck with niggas. I can't, mm -mm, no, I don't even care. Nigga, do you? Because that's what they going to do anyway. So y'all want me to focus on him when he don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, Danny Lay, baby, what are you doing? What are you doing, honey? Why would you do this to yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like They end up going on live. And the reason the live happened is because I guess it was getting a little heated and he wanted to show the live what was going on just in case she ended up, you know, going on her Instagram saying whatever. The boy literally said, you a certified side bitch. He told her that. Do you know who she's the side bitch to? Mimi! Y'all! He let her know Mimi ain't going nowhere either. Y'all, he told her that. On live, you decide, bitch, not her. Boy, y'all better goddamn wake up around this motherfucker. For whatever the case may yeah, be. Okay, there I go. Uh. Do my thing. Oh, baby, those are lights? No, baby, I put the lights there. How you do that? I had some lights. Well. Oh, okay. You. You. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, whatever. Shut yeah, 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 you want to record me talking about shut the I got to record you for my sake. Yeah, you go ahead. This is the first thing. You ain't finna bring me. Then I'll get your phone. Let me close the first Baby, the first time. Yeah, that's what it is. Like this. Nah, nah, nah. Go with your move, yeah, crazy whatever. girl. Yeah, you started your Yeah, whatever. Now, child, this ain't the first time. Mm -mm. How this is going on, this ain't the first time. Mm -mm. You can tell. That this is a toxic ass relationship and it's been toxic when he's been going back and forth from you to Mimi and other girls anyway. So you knew what No, he didn't have to go live. Once again, he wrong. All right, y'all, we got that established. <laughs> y'all, we have that established. That nigga ain't shit. He has shown us that. All right, what do we have to say about Danny Lay, everybody? Run me that. What do we have to say about her? What you signed up for so after that live he goes and he she posts on his instagram story shit, and right? says i would like to swiftly she remove myself from any of this hostile behavior now first of all sweetie she's hostile because you over here disrespecting her right. this girl really probably just wants to have a real family and a relationship and she thought that's what she could do Stupid. but you want her to stay a side bitch that's what it is. Yeah. And yeah, she should have known her role, whatever the case may be, and yeah. not think that she could have changed if you. that's what but she chose to do. You know why she mad. And it saddens me because I have a queen to raise. So what he's doing is he's trying to deflect the situation that he actually was being an asshole recording her. And he wants it to seem like this woman is just crazy and it's not him. The last hour has been documented for my safety and business. Nigga, you punched a motherfucker in the mouth. Hello. You not- When I tell you he, he played straight, like, first of all, I didn't agree with him calling the police. That was crazy. 
Like that was crazy as fuck to me. Um, it's you know it'll be the niggas that this nigga is a whole live murderer, okay? With the M word, he is the M word, okay? Talk about it all in his songs. He'll do it again, and he calling the pigs. No, 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 no. That right there was some bitch ass shit. I'm not gonna lie, because that could have been the last phone call, bro. I ain't calling twelve on my baby mama with my baby here, hell no. I don't trust them folk. But he could have left at that crib, man. Period. That shit crazy. Knock somebody out in the stove. Do you really think I've been for your already sake? Out. No. The baby, come on. <laughs> I have been beat on, yelled at, and chased around like one of them fatal attraction love movies, whatever he's talking about. Boom, 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 boom. So Nigga, just shit. shut up. Nah, I believe that shit. Shut she, up. They do have an infatuation with Mimi. She wanted to take him from Mimi, y'all. Let's just be real. He just talking shit. He said somebody from the team was there. They recorded it. Woot, 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 yada, yada, yada. He knew not to act up. He kept it together. He said he don't want no charges pressed against Danny or anything like that. He just wants her to leave. He said he's only focusing on his project right now. Woot, 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 yada, yada, yada. He said it's sad that she had to go out like this. I'm a father first and whatever, whatever. Child, the reason you're not pressing no charges is because girl... See, Cinderella, you part of the problem. The baby fine, no. Fuck him. All these other chocolate men out here now, they'll never be the baby. All right, it's unfortunate. Look, you see what happened? <laughs> Listen, that shit is terrible, y'all. Really didn't chase you. The girl didn't do none of that. And if she chased you, she probably had a right. She it's probably different. pissed off about Mimi. She probably pissed off because you done sat here and told her that she, you love her and this and that. Girl done had this baby thinking it was going to make this man fall in love. And it's not. So then she comes up and she says, oh, since he want to put up on the internet his side, I'm going to put mine. She says, so her and the baby have been living together for three months since the baby's been born, whatever the case may be. But then he want to come in the room and tell her, you got to go. I don't care where you go, but you got to go. Man, a so she said Y'all are terrible. Y'all are terrible. Y'all just as, y'all about worse than her. Golly. <laughs> Saying that this man was mad because she sent a plan B to I his house and she said, nigga, all you want to do is nothing. come in me. Obviously, he's been coming in all y'all because ain't the baby mama the other one, ain't Mimi pregnant too? Yeah. This nigga really put the meaning behind I do baby on baby. Okay, I'm going baby ain't on baby. Ain't that It's baby on baby. Baby on baby. Child, he's coming in all of y'all. He probably want me out so he can fuck on his baby mama and other hoes. Well, girl, you knew this already. He been fucking on Mimi. You knew this. You knew he'd been fucking on other hoes. You knew this, but you decided to stay. But from what I'm getting from the internet, she has a bad past with her family. I guess her family treated her wrong, whatever the case may be, they don't love her. So I get, I kind of get why she's like this. I think she's just looking for love and she's looking for love in the wrong places and trying to look for love and this man they ain't gonna it. happen. And I think he fed her dreams yeah. and fairy tales and she felt that love and affection that she has not felt from a family member or a man. And he played on that. He played on her weakness and now she's trapped by seeing her on these trips, by buying her this, by doing that. And this man really didn't even want to be with you, girl. He just, he was just. This thing ain't ugly. Uh, uh, huh. You seen it? Girl, guide me to the link. Please. A fun <laughs> situation. So then she ends up going you know live and this is what she had to say. I ain't never addressed no. Yeah. I ain't never addressed nothing before I feel like because I always was like, nah, let me not talk to the internet because the internet is always going to make their own story up. Whatever the they going to grab a little piece and put whatever story they want together, but nah, how how I've been living here for the past three months at his house, at his penthouse, back and forth, here and there, since my baby was born, and then all of a sudden, I cook tonight, he want to come to the crib, I am sleeping in his bed, talking about- Where is that at? Okay, so where is that at, Bree? You need to go. The f You mean I need to go to a five-star hotel, do it, do it. Nobody- leaving and of course escalated i want to put up a statement talking about oh it saddens me that i have a queen to raise you you ain't even been here this whole 
time that I've had this child. Oh, I've seen that. He said You want to give him. cute little conversations oh, talking about you a that you the Look at this. He wants me to get out of his house. Go ahead. Okay, let's just Go ahead, baby. Tell him. Tell him. Where's this? Where's he at? 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 Yeah, whatever. He want to call on me for whatever the reason whatever stupid my three month old baby yeah whatever yeah whatever that's a nice no i don't need to tell you nothing nah you good you can talk to him because he want to call you guys go ahead go ahead nah go ahead ain't nobody need to talk to nothing go ahead Ain't nobody need to Go talk ahead. to nothing. You just want to hang out. You know, yeah, whatever. But my thing is this too, the baby. Why would you put her out? And make her leave with a three month old baby to go to a hotel. That's some bullshit. Why couldn't you just go? I completely agree with that. I told y'all. Nigga, you rich. Go back to your mansion. I said that. You go to the hotel. Would, that's why you I'm go right. to another place. But no, you want to put her out. It's child. Niggas, it's crazy. She, it couldn't have been me. I would have tore that motherfucking house up before oh, I left. Oh, okay, cops, y'all, uh, he want to call y'all? I'm going to have y'all come here for a reason. I'm not going to waste your motherfucking time. Because <laughs> that's some bullshit. I'm sure this woman is going through postpartum and everything. And he don't so let's get to the postpartum conversation. Because people, women were offended in the comments about postpartum. Once again, I have not had a child before i have not birthed a child no i haven't i do raise two little girls though because some of y'all wasn't aware of that in the comments but i do want to say this postpartum is a huge issue that women have to deal with after their pregnancy and i don't know why y'all acting like it's not because i think y'all rather me say that she's just fucking crazy instead of saying it's postpartum but with postpartum women act completely different out of their norm like literally and they cannot control it also, men get postpartum as well. And I don't know why people don't act like men go through it too. For him to kick her out at 3 o'clock in the morning will sound like some postpartum shit to me. That's just crazy because her and the baby? Like, <laughs> nigga, what is wrong with you? But women and men, especially the, ch the father of the child, uh, they go through postpartum, y'all. So... I don't know why y'all was trying to come up. You don't have to have a baby to know about postpartum. But it's a lot of women that have gone through postpartum. We got cousins, aunties, motherfucking mamas that have gone through postpartum. You don't have to have a child to know about it. Women and men go through postpartum after their pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all noticed that all these damn relationships, after they have babies these days, they fall all the way the fuck out. All the way. All the way out. She acting crazy. He acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And some and and just be doing wild shit. Postpartum ain't no joke, bro. I genuinely feel like that is what it is, and people ignore that shit. If we haven't heard about this before, maybe because they covered it up good. I don't know. But for him to kick her and that child out. And y'all know damn well, he may be a lot, but that nigga raised his kids, bruh. I think that that had a lot to do with postpartum for that decision. Because that was some wild, dumbass shit. Because he could have left. Like, nigga, you're rich. You have a mansion. Get the fuck out. I don't know why he felt like he just needed to stay there. I never understand that shit. Nigga, get your ass out, bruh. Let them stay. Because that's what the fuck I would have did. I'm going to peacefully go to my mansion. I don't have to deal with you. I really don't. Stay in this motherfucker. I can afford it. Stay. I, I, I swear. That's what I would have done. But if I have a whole mansion, bro, I'm going home. This ain't even my home. I'm going home. You can stay there. For him to put her and his own child out at 3 o'clock in the morning is crazy to me. I really feel like that has a lot to do with postpartum. I don't care what none of y'all say. You don't know how draining and depressing that can be. This man love playing victim and y'all keep falling for it. Y'all girls gotta be careful y'all have kids with, especially people y'all don't even know for real. These people. That, that is his, that's one of his houses. That's not the point. Nigga, that's a three month old baby. Get the fuck out. You have another place to go. 
He did not have to be there. Whether that's his crib or not, that is your, your child. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have multiple places to stay, and you just had to be there. No. That's what I'm telling y'all. Something is wrong with that. And something is wrong with this situation. And no answer is going to be a right answer. Period. We we'll be putting on disguises. That nigga could have left. That's what he could have left. a whoop and she's left. clothing. Ladies, never let your man, never let a man do you like this. I pray my daughter never has to go through this. He left me when I was pregnant. Of course, I wanted my baby to know her daddy. Just so he can do his whole ass. But now, after three months, he's talking about a love affair. First of all, it's stressing me out trying to read this. Both of them he don't could know be how to be right. I guess she hurting, he, child. I'm trying, y'all, okay? Anyway, he's talking about a love affair like I'm delusional or something. Well, sis, huh. just to be to... real, uh, come on, um, you are a little delusional thinking that you was going to change this man when you already knew what you was signing up for. That's so it is a little bit right, but okay, anyway. So I'm just like, girl, fuck posting all this shit. Fuck it, just leave. Leave. You keep going back. Child, I'm going to have to make a part two. I'm about to end this video and I'll make a part two. Um... So tune into the part two. Hey, uh, yeah.